Chris Watkin here with the broker of brokers and he has a solution on how the UK estate agency industry can improve its fee levels. Broker, talk to me. Regulation. Regulation. Now you're talking about someone here that's anti-political correctness. Political correctness is a sort of regulation of sorts, but the wrong type. In fact, it started in 1934 with the New York Times talking about Nazi Germany Aryans. That was the original, believe it or not. But the only way that you're going to get fees up to where they should be for all the agents, and they deserve to be paid more, is when you regulate the industry. Because once you regulate, there's more costs, and those costs, some of them, unfortunately, will be passed on to the clients, but they will feel that it's become now a professional white-collar industry. White-collar means salaried. So in other words, people will have uh, guarantees, as I said in the model that I talked about in, in the last video, you need to have a guarantee, even if you're self-employed, and also an understanding that you can be a partner in the business. So let me just, before we carry on on that, talk about the next stage of, of that. If you're successful, and this is about earning more money and, and keeping your business, if you're successful, and it's assumed that people will be now, given there's more money, you're now going to say, okay, what's the future employed or self-employed? A new model, partnership. Not, it's not employed, it's not self-employed. It's a new category. So you start on the guarantee, and then you move over to, yes, the self-employed model. But you can't start in that process. You have to have some sort of, otherwise you're under too much pressure. Then you say, okay, I've given a lot of my time and uh, uh, support to this business. Why should I then take all the clients somewhere else? You're going to lose all the goodwill and all the training, if you like, and all the things. But what I'm going to do instead, or what I suggest, Make me a partner. Give me some shares in your business. But if you think about it, not but yet, um, that's what the likes of Savills and or, and also lots like of solicitor Frank. firms, they do that, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And Isn't there it? are some agents, but very few that do it. There are some. Do you think, do you think bosses are just worried that they, you know, that they'd rather have 100% of some of a smaller thing as opposed to, say, 70% of a much bigger thing? They are, unfortunately... Um, it's using and abusing which which goes on I mean in another video I'll talk about emotional empowerment apart from emotional intelligence and I'll give you the definition of that but it's the case that people have been abused and they want to abuse in return where the whole game changes and everyone says it's a win-win situation maybe I win more than you or you win more than me but we can both actually come away from it with a result. So in other words, let's say you and I are working together and you say um, you want to do your own thing. I would say, right, can I be an investor? Wow. All of a sudden, I've still got an interest with you. What a brilliant solution, don't you think? Well, there's an awful lot of people who who don't, you know, like working for their boss, but wants to, fit, wants to own something, be part of it. Exactly. A lot of my friends are doing that. So what you're suggesting is this, this partnership model is where the boss invests in the person for a short period of time, almost like a parachute payment, to, so they're not running around, they haven't got the word desperate on their forehead, Correct. and then potentially go into a more self-employed role, where, right. which again is still a partnership of such. Correct. Coming back to the fact of regulation, that there, there is uh, at the moment uh, something called ROPA, R-O-P-A, which is um, on the cards, which will regulate potentially the estate agency profession, and bosses will have to go to at least level four. Uh, people working in the agency will be level three, which is, you know, level four for a boss is quite high. Do you, do you, do you think that will, because in other industries where it's been regulated, it's, it's driven out a lot of bad people in the industry, you know, like financial services and financial planning. Do you think that would happen in a state agency? Potentially, yeah. Uh, I think people will start to look at it with... It, the, the most important people are actually the clients and the applicants, because they have to have the right perception 
They're abusing estate agents at the moment, thinking to themselves, anyone can do it. In America, whatever you do, and now, as I said, we've got the trademark in the whole of USA, whatever you do, you have to have a license for it. You can't just open an agency. And in this country, when you open an estate agency right in the beginning, you had to pay for that. You know that, don't you? You didn't just get an agent, you paid for it. Interestingly now, if you want to be an estate agent, all you need is three things. One is, is money laundering, one is part of an ombudsman scheme, and then the third and final one is a note from your mum saying, please, can we let Johnny be an estate agent? Exactly. That's it. Yeah. Do you think, I mean, an awful lot of people have blamed Rightmove because it's leveled the playing field, and as long as you're on Rightmove, you're equal to everyone else. Well, I'm surprised Rightmove and Zoopla haven't gone into the business themselves, you know, and fully taken over and said, right, we're going to open our own branches. Um, because I'm not a fan of the um, offline. I think that shouldn't exist. I think it should only, sorry, online. I think it should only be offline. Um, you know, I know, again, a lot of people that are doing it and they mean well, but it's back to reducing costs again and not giving the full cert. When you're doing that, it's like a do-it-yourself. In my opinion, the broker of broker's opinion, we believe that uh, the if you have a property, you say, here's the keys, God bless. You're my advisor, you're going to show, I'm not going to be in the property. You manage it, you deal with everything, I've got my life, because otherwise you're too close to it. When you get people that say, okay, it's only a thousand pounds or whatever it is up front, and that's the cost, it's not good enough. Allow people to make money. Do you think that we're too guilty. I mean, um, the fees have been driven down from 1.6 to 1%, which mm. is, and I know average prices have gone up, but even when you take that into account, prices in real terms for, for fees are down, which has created a situation, Broker, where the quality of people being in coming into the industry is lower. Yeah. So it's almost chicken in the egg. How yeah. do we get the fees up by regulation, unfortunately, you can't just put fees up because people won't accept it. They'll say, how, how are you justifying okay. this? But, the, but there's estate agents that are next door to each other, one that charges 2.5% and the next one charges 1%. Yeah. How can they get away with that? Or is it a case of not a case of getting away? It's just that one one is a better estate agent and charges what You can worth. charge 10% or, or, or you know, point. 1%, it's up to you. You can, there's no sort of uh, regular amount. People always say one thing or another. It's not about, everyone's worried about paying people money. We have to change the culture in this country into something that says, look, I want the VIP. When I go and sit in Claridge's, I don't just sit there. I get service. They know what I want. They know exactly, they say, would you like your usual, um, you know, everything there is bespoke and that's because it's the best of the best and my belief system is that it doesn't matter where you are in the country whether you're in the heart of london or in a, a place like this lovely t uh, town when you walk into someone's domain or, or c communicate with them you should get the vip treatment of you're important you're special how can i help you and then they will do more business they won't go to another firm They'll recommend you and you will be able to grow from there. You won't need to do marketing all the time, although that's important because you, you it's part of the system. But when you've done the hard work of bringing the person in, you have to treat them like gold. Thank you for your time today, Broker. Welcome.